Look at that beautiful sunrise. Well, good morning, my dudes. Isn't it pretty? I think it is so beautiful. I wanted to share that with you. We are going to work on this Saturday morning. It is 6 622. If you would rather work every day in the week or just one day on the weekend. One day on the weekend. Um, 622. Been up since 5 o'clock. Going down here to the beach to work while everybody else is out there enjoying the sand. But that's okay though because I don't like the beach, man. I don't know. I just, uh, Ever since I was in high school, I do not enjoy the beach. Now, when I was younger, um, yes, me and my, look at that sun peeking through. Me and my best friend, we would go lay out, but now I just don't like it. And actually, my kids don't like it. They would rather fish, go to the river, or the lake, or the water park than go to the beach well the salt and the sand so all right now we're going towards the boulevard anyways i got a rant this morning how many of y'all out there have teenagers teenagers i was watching a video and it made me think of this when you tell a teenager to do something just like i told my daughter for a week to get her bedroom clean. Do you think that room is clean yet? No. Look, you can see the palm trees. I'm gonna zoom you in. You can see the ocean. So there's the beach. Which I'll give y'all a view once I get where I'm going. Get part in the water. Looks kind of rough this morning. teenager not doing what you ask them to do or not doing it correctly the first time see I can't stand people like that yeah, that man just about hit me down. and the speed limit says right there 30 anyways not doing what you ask them to do correctly or doing it the first time that really irks my nerves and me, as a single mother, as much as I do for my kids, they get anything in this world that they want. They go anywhere they want. Shoot, that's just like they just went on a cruise last September to the Bahamas. I was 35 years old. That was my first cruise. My first cruise, and they already going on one. For my daughter's 13th birthday, was in October, this past October, so she's getting her to be 14, and my little boy getting her to be 10. Look, what are they doing? So, shoot, I was 35 before I went on a cruise, and here they are already cruising. So, yeah, that just irks my nerves. Then, you got this one back here that plays any sport in the world that she can play, Thanks, she plays it. So you have to run her. Soccer is practice every day, picking her up for school. She played for the JV high school team last year. Then it's softball, running to the field, and then picking her up, and they travel. They don't just play at that same field. Then you go through the year of softball. Then you have all stars they had all stars so it was running here and there for all stars <sighs> then it's chorus orchestra 
concerts in all county and everything else running here and there practice shoot and then she has to go to the school she wants to go to which is not in our uh residential living so i have to drive her to school every morning and pick her up and she can't even as much as clean her room the right way when asked to clean it are you kidding me are you kidding me she drives but anyways she just is on my nerves all right so we're here i'm gonna part real quick and then i'll be back people get married out there all the time. That's what they're doing. Look. They're getting married. They're getting married. Sorry, my hands are shaking, but it's laid on tractor. Get to work, work, work. Give it a little tour real quick. There's my little buggy. I like to take all my stuff in. Ooh, I like these balls. Those are neato. I think they need to go in the middle of the table. Let's see how many bedrooms we got. Two, Two bedrooms. Child labor. <laughs> Alright guys, we're on the second one now. And this is what it looks like. I really like that color. The color of the walls. And it is so hot. Another day, another dollar. to that beach store today. I guess I can't do that, huh? I need to get Hunter some uh, swimming trunks. But anyways, teenagers. Teenagers, teenagers. I might uh, give you a break today, but tomorrow or Monday, you're going to get that room clean. something go and check if it's done then she says I tell her too many things to do no you in honors classes you can't tell me if I get tell you four things to do that you can't remember it it's called directions one two three four you go in order I was uh, listening in on a live stream today at work and uh, got kind of 
What's the word, y'all young and she's triggered. I got kind of triggered. So, uh, I want to try to do a live stream tonight about 8, 8.30 Eastern Time. And the topic is addiction and ethics. For my degree in college, I had to take an ethics class. Um, but when it comes to addiction, is someone with a quote-unquote profession or license held to a higher standard than someone that's not? Wait, wait, say that again. Someone that has an addiction problem are they held to a higher standard if they quote unquote have a license like uh, a psychologist license or a doctor or a teacher or a nurse or veterinarian Yes, a degree, quote unquote, a degree. You said yes, Haley? Well, if you have a good of a succession like that in a job, then I guess you are. You are what? You're what? You are expected to be a better person. Like, if someone found out you did that, they would be shocked because that's not something with that succession of a job like that would do, but their job doesn't tell the person. Says who? Says today's society. Everything's so stereotypical now. Is addiction um how do I want to say this? So you, you're telling me that addiction like picks and chooses the different classes in society because obviously someone with a degree they make more money mm -hmm. right so therefore they're more of the middle higher class society so you're telling me that if a person is middle or higher class that they're not subject to be an addict no I'm saying if they were an addict Why? I honestly don't think that way. Everybody else. So you don't think that way? You don't feel that way? I'm just saying what society would say like today. And why do you think they would say that? Have you met? Yeah. Everybody just judges everybody. They think they know everything about that person. Just like they people on YouTube say, if you watch one video, you don't know everything about that person. So, like, if, let's say, I was a, a good working nurse, uh, maybe a cancer specialist, and I was strung out. If someone found okay, hold on. Let's back up. Okay. Your happy owns his own uh, Havac heating and cooling yeah. business. Okay. My aunt, my mama, my grandma, and my great grandma are all nurses. Okay. So, why is there a difference if your pappy had an addiction and if one of them had an addiction? I'd be more disappointed and happy. You'd be more disappointed and pappy. 
Why is Whoa, that? Whoa, no. If we're talking about nanny, then yes, I'd be extremely disappointed. Well, I'm talking about my mama, my aunt, nanny, and mama. Them, yes, because of who they are, because I know who they are. Them, I'll be extremely disappointed in them. Not just because, well, in my, opi in my opinion, how I see it, not just because of their um, job, I'm saying because who they are as a person. I mean, they've all t t taught me how to do the right thing and stuff, and for them to go and do that, it's And I understand if they would have got hung up on it by accident and they just couldn't stop, then I'd help them get the help they need. I wouldn't be like, oh my god, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Da -da 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 -da. But if they did it on purpose, just to hurt themselves, or just to feel it, then yes, I'd be sure. I don't feel that addiction, and I don't want to use the word selective. There, I, there's a better word, but I can't think of it. It's not like it's like okay, this person can be an addict, but this one can't. No, it could happen to anyone at any time. Do you know how many pastors or churches have a pornography saying, or sex addiction? Yeah, what I'm saying is like it wouldn't matter. Okay, that's just like I ain't a church of God. The preacher's son went to jail and got fired for uh, messing and sleeping with the young and I ain't her middle school. And what did the people say? They didn't think of him as his name they say the pastor's son that's stereotypical well i don't remember his name or i, mean, I would have said his name either but everybody will say the pastor's son because he's a pastor's son they don't say who he is as a person who he is as a person what he's went through for him to be like that they just say the pastor's son to make it like that it's all about titles titles judges and I mean, sin is sin. I mean, that's just like my addiction. Uh, well, when I was addicted to pills, but the way I feel is God don't look at it no different if I, you know, was an addict and your daddy. There's no difference between us. Yeah, he might have, he did things that were illegal and broke the law and went to jail to support his addiction, whereas I didn't, but what's the difference? There is no difference. We still both have an addiction. So, I want y'all to tell me in the comments what y'all feel about it. Hold on just a second. What, you want a sweet tea? Thanks for choosing McDonald's. You don't want that meat. Can I get two large sweet teas, please? What else, Tori? That's it. 221, thank you. So, yeah. Uh, leave in, leave me some... Uh, tell me how you feel about that situation down in the comments. And I am going to uh, stop this video here so we can get on home. I'm ready to take a shower because I feel so nasty. And let us know if you want us to do more like sit-down talk videos. More, like, more sit-down talk videos in the we car. We can do confessions. We need to name this car. Car confessions? No, we, we need to name the car. Well, this ain't my car. This is going to be your car. I know. I need to name it. So, I don't know. I mean, that. I just don't feel that way. I mean, it's not like addiction targets a certain genre of people. That's how I feel. Yeah. All right.
I will talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.